will the Niners trade for Tom Brady? The reason this is a discussion is because Brady spoke recently and basically was obviously kept the door open. He's like, well, you know, who knows how I'm going to feel in six. He literally said, who knows how I'm going to feel in six months. Okay. So <laughs> we know that the Niners were his first choice before he went to Tampa. We know the Niners said no to him, like famously, infamously. We know that Brady basically doesn't want to play for Tampa anymore, even though he's under contract with them one more year. Uh, what do you think, Jesse? Okay, well, here's a couple other things that play into it. Obviously, I, I think it was a New England sports radio station. It's like Scott Zolak or something. He's, their, about. he's one of their commentators. Okay, so there we go. So he's yeah. the one that stirred this up a little bit. He yep. said that he felt that if there was one place that Tom would go, it would be the 49ers, which is his hometown team. Tom Brady's a fanboy of the 49ers. Like, let's just call it what it is. He was just a part of the Joe Montana documentary, fanboying it up the whole way through. I think that it, it would be a dream come true for him. But as I look at this, there's a few things at play here. One, it's not just as simple as saying, okay, is this team a Super Bowl team with Tom Brady? Like, if you plug Tom Brady into this year's team, do they win the Super Bowl? Of course they do. But it's not that easy because here's what happens. If you sign, it's not though. <laughs> if you sign Tom Brady, you're paying him $20 million. That's, That's what his true. contract is, That's true. right? So that means that you're going to forego, let's let's just throw a name out, Lake and Tomlinson. You're going to let Lake and Tomlinson walk, right, to, to make up for it. And you're going to set back Trey Lance one more year. That development's gone. And the last part that goes into this is it sounds like Jimmy Garoppolo would be a part of this. I, I don't know why Tampa would want him, but that's the rule. That's where I get hung up. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But yeah. it sounds like he would be a part of this, which means now, let's say, I don't know, Jimmy Garoppolo's worth a second-round pick. So you're foregoing a second-round pick, you're foregoing Tomlinson, and you're bypassing Trey Lance another year of development. Or you're getting Tom Brady. Now, I'm not telling you which answer is right. Obviously, having Tom Brady would be fantastic. But but it that's what you have to look at. It's, it's not just as simple as adding Tom Brady and making a run. There's a lot more that goes into it. The pressure. I know you got to sit on your hands on this one. The pressure of Tom Brady. If you don't win a Super Bowl with Tom Brady and you push back Trey Lance one more year, I don't know, man. That's That's a lot. So go ahead. Okay. Um, oh, wait. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I just feel like you already said no to him once. You can't say no twice. I mean, <laughs> look, look. Trey Lance had every right to feel confused, frustrated, sitting behind Jimmy Garoppolo. Like, honestly, oh, sure. in, the scheme of, in, the his, in the scheme of the history of football, who the hell is that? Not a pro bowler. I mean, not a champion. Not an all pro. He's just a guy. And you made him say, it's, that wasn't Joe Montana, Brett Favre, Ali. It wasn't even Alex Smith. It was just, just mediocre Jimmy. And that was weird. Sitting behind Tom Brady, anyone would be honored to do that. The, Trey Lance is still 22. And Tom Brady, he's year to year anyway. If he came here, it might be for just one year. And I'm, I just want to, let me make this real clear. Uh, let me try to sell you on Tom Brady, all right? Because I don't root for this team. You root for the freaking team. Let I me do. sell you on the Niners having Tom Brady for one year. They would win the Super Bowl. How's that sound? How's that sound? <laughs> that sounds great, Grant. It sounds like, great. Look, yes. I, I like Trey Lance very much, but do I think they're definitely going to win the Super Bowl with him next year in his first year as a starter? No. I don't think they won't, but I don't know. With Brady and Debo and Trent Williams and Kittle and Elijah Mitchell and Ayuk, dude, dude, that's a Super Bowl team. So I wouldn't say no to it. And I think that Trey Lance, if he, if he, I think he would have the wisdom to even find benefit in, in sitting behind Tom Brady for a year. I, I can understand him being like, what am I supposed to learn from Jimmy? I'm with you there. Tom is different. Steve Young sat behind Joe Montana until he was 30. Aaron Rodgers sat behind Brett Favre until he was like 25. It's where it, it makes, it's okay. If, it, if it's one of the greatest quarterbacks ever, that's not Jimmy, that's Tom. So look, if, but as you said, if they don't get the Super Bowl, then you're thinking, what is, you know, if they get close, do you run it back? It gets weird. I would freaking do it. I wouldn't be the team that said no to Tom Brady twice. I don't know. It's, that's rough. It feels like almost it, like creating a, a hex on yourself, like the, the curse of the Bambino. <laughs> no, I, I get you. I mean, on paper, there's Super Bowl chance, but you never oh, know yeah. what can happen. They could oh, yeah, get injuries. I mean, they could have hella injuries. You don't know what's going to happen. 
Yeah, it's true. But, yeah. but here's the thing. Last year, the rumors at this time, if you remember, were Deshaun Watson. Okay. Yes. So it was that feels like eight years ago, by the way. It does it, do, it really does. Yeah, really. I mean, when we haven't seen the kid play in forever, so it does feel like forever. Yeah. But Shanahan screwed up on not drafting Watson. So it's like, oh, well, now he's gonna go right is wrong by giving up all this capital and going and get him. Well, you had a chance at Tom Brady for basically nothing. Yeah, and you could have had them had him this whole time and already won a ring or two. And you didn't. So now you've got to go give up capital. You've got to let free agents walk just to right your wrong. It's like, how many times are you going to go back and right your wrong? I think that plays into it. Here's what I would do. If Tom Brady's available, I'm definitely not against it, for sure. I mean, he's the GOAT. How do you say no to that? I will say that. But the flip side of this, if this is just a rumor, Grant, I think that Shanahan has a really good opportunity here to win Trey Lance over forever. And I'm going to use this rumor to my advantage if I'm Shanahan. And here's what I mean by that. Leadership. The way I look at leadership is like playing reverse poker. In poker, the objective is to get as many chips as you can, right? Reverse poker, as a leader, I want to give as many chips as I can to my my players, my employees, whatever, because at some point, I'm going to need those guys to go all in for me. And this is one of those situations where you can really give a lot of chips to Trey Lance. And you can do that by saying, listen, I know these rumors are going around. There is no credence to them. Lance, you're our guy. Go work hard in the offseason. It's all you. I believe in you. And it's always going to be that way. And that's something that Trey Lance is going to remember forever and work his ass off for Kyle Shanahan. You don't do that, though, if you are, in fact, actually looking at Brady. But if you're not, I would use this to my benefit if I'm Kyle Shanahan. Okay, that was very inspirational. That was it, that, we were just talking about what they should do. Now let's sure. change it up. What do we think they will do? I will say what I think if – if Kyle Shanahan gets wind that uh, Tom Brady might come out of retirement only for the 49ers, I think he'd be interested. Say it like that. I think he would be interested, even though you think he shouldn't be. I think he would be. I think he's he would think we're on, on my lines of not making the same mistake twice. And I think, but the, the question is, how do you get him? How do, so, so Scott Zolak said that, it could happen. Fine, fine. He floated Jimmy G. No, 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 dude. No, that's not it. So I, I just want to talk about this. If this were to happen and back channels were to connect Brady to the Niners and, and, and Kyle were to hear that this is something Brady wants to do, what's the trade ship? It's not Jimmy. It's Trey. And that's where things get really weird, right? It ain't. I could see. I don't, Bruce Arians doesn't want anything to do with Jimmy Garoppolo. He <laughs> would want someone like Trey, who wants to go down the field, who's gifted. See, is that a trade you're willing to make? I don't know, man. One year of Tom Brady to forego like potentially twenty years of Trey Lance, ten years. See, that's that's why this. I don't know if this could work because I don't think I would trade Trey Lance. But to me, that's who the Bucks would want. There's zero wrong? chance that there's I no, you're want. not wrong. That there's I zero chance of trading. Trey. Trey Lance. No, zero chance. Zero yeah. chance. There, no, you cannot yeah. do that. The only the only way I, I would consider trading Trey Lance in, in this scenario, or even for Rogers, right? Which is that's the other one we keep hearing. The only way I would consider that is if I get a guaranteed two years out of those those guys. And the reason that two years is important is because it allows you to forego those first round draft picks you gave yeah. up, right? Like if you're winning Super Bowls or competing, then yeah. it's okay. And then by the time they're done, you've got that first round draft pick back and you can kind of do it all over again. But nothing's guaranteed with Brady. He's year to year. He's I know. 40. He's no, there's no way. No chance. Older than Kyle. So that's the thing that to me is like, yeah, 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 yeah. Bring in, bring in Brady. Bring in Brady. How? Jimmy? Nah. It's nope. Trey. Unless you had other first round picks that you don't. And I wouldn't trade trade. I wouldn't trade 22 year old Trey Lance for 49 year old Tom. I wouldn't. I'm sorry. So I don't. I mean, it could happen. Maybe, maybe the Niners, John Lynch would be real creative. Maybe you could trade Eric Armstead, Mike McGlinchey, Tom Compton. I don't know. Maybe you could figure it out, but I think it's probably not feasible. I, there's no chance. Hey, here we go. We'll give them, <laughs> we'll give them Garoppolo and Kittle, and we get back Brady and Gronk. Let's do that. There you go. 